Welcome to the very first Entourage screencast. Over here I'm going to show you how you can automatically configure your Exchange account in Entourage 2008. It requires that your mailbox is on an Exchange 2007 server. So let's verify that by launching Safari and go to the URL you use to access your mailbox through Outlook Web Access. I'm using mail.contosa.com slash OA. Over here on the login page, you see this icon signifies that you are connecting to a mailbox on Exchange 2007 server. Let's log in. After we log in on the main page, again down at the bottom, Exchange 2007 icon. Another confirmation. Let's go to the options. And then about. Over here you're going to see different server versions. The first one is the Outlook Web Access version. It says 8.1, which is good. 8 is the version for Exchange 2007 server. Dot one specifies that you have Service Pack 1 installed, which is also good. So the second one is this Client Access Server. This one is the Microsoft Mailbox uh, server version. All of them are 8.1, so you're good to go. You can use that Auto Discover feature, which is only available on Exchange 2007, uh, to configure your account automatically in Entourage. Here is another icon at the log off screen. So let's launch Entourage, and we're going to create a new identity. The user I'm using is Dan Park, and the organization is Contosa. The very first thing which I get after launching Entourage with a new identity is the Entourage Setup Assistant. I'm not going to import anything, so just click Next. And then provide my email address. Everybody should know their email address. That's your default SMTP address. Check the box that your account is on an Exchange server. Next. Entourage will go and connect to your server and will ask you to enter your domain credentials. Account ID is the user ID. Domain is Contoso in my case. I'm also saving the password so that I won't have to enter the password again. And there you go. It has successfully determined the settings. And let's take a look at the settings. Here you go. Everything is populated, mainly is the Exchange Server URL, mail.contosa.com. It is the same, which we use for Outlook Web Access. LDAP Server is also there. It's going to use SSL for all servers uh, to connect to them, which is good. It's going to be secured. Next. Over here on this screen, we're going to verify the settings. Uh, when you click on that, it goes and connect to the servers and then make sure that all servers uh, are accessible. So it's going to take some time and then come back with a message that it has um, verifi verified the settings successfully and all that. Here you go. Next, you can give it a name. Um, I'm going to give it the name Contoso Exchange and then click on the Finish. I'm done with the auto configuration. The very first thing which you'll see is this not connected uh, in front of the Exchange account, but what, because it wasn't connected, now it has gotten connected, and you can see all the folder list um, is there, and then it has started synchronization. You can see down at the bottom in the right-hand corner that is synchronizing different folders. You will see the items started coming in, and you can see inbox has been populated uh, with the items. And uh, there you go. Reminders are firing up for overdue uh, meetings or appointments. Uh, let's go and take a look at the account settings, uh, how it has discovered them and have automatically populated those things. So there you go. Uh, you can see the name, uh, email address, uh, name was automatically discovered by Entourage through Auto Discover feature available only on Exchange 2007 server. 
um, you provided the credentials and it got the Exchange Server URL. You can see it's using um, SSL port 443. Um, here is the uh, same URL for accessing public folders. Again, uh, it's using SSL for that. Here is the URL or the server name for um, accessing GAL or global address list. Um, again, it's using SSL for that as well. So all these settings were automatically discovered by Entourage um, using the new auto discover feature available only on Exchange 2007 server. And uh, here we can see all the items have come down. The mailbox has been fully synchronized. Um, all items are appearing as they were uh, in Outlook Web Access or if you have used Outlook on Windows. Um, so everything is going to appear like it is in your Exchange mailbox. Entourage syncs everything down to its local database. Here you go, calendar folder has all the appointments. I prefer work week view. So let me change to that. And your contacts are also there. Let's take a look at the public folders. As it, uh, it, the access happens uh, when actually you expand this. Uh, and uh, there you go, it got all the folders from your public folder server here is one the mail folder and it will go and bring down the contents here is a post in that public folder let's take a look at that calendar public folder entourage is synchronizing and there you go the appointments are there now all of this data in public folders will remain in Entourage only for this current session. Uh, it will be dumped as soon as you close Entourage. Um, only uh, that content or folder is going to be saved in Entourage, uh, which has been s marked as a favorite in Entourage. All these folders, Internet News Group, Journal, Notes, Tasks, they are not supported in Entourage. That's why you don't see any contents there. And let's take a look at the uh, directory service or the GAL global address list. Uh, this is your organizational uh, address list and Entourage will again go and connect securely to it. And this requires that your GAL has been published and uh, uh, it may not be true for your organization because of the security reasons. Um, here I am bringing up a contact from the GAL it will display every single piece of information which you can find uh, for that contact in GAL. Publishing a global catalog server to, for users who are external to an organization uh, does carry some uh, security risks. So your organization may have not published your server uh, on internet, but you can still go and access that server while you are inside your organization. I'm quickly taking a look at different address lists um, and here you go, this is a DL or distribution list uh, which is hosted on your exchange server and uh, I was just taking a look at all the details. These are all the conference rooms and other resources which you may have in your uh, organization. Here is the all users address list and next one is the public folders which have been mail enabled by your admin uh, meaning you can send email to those public folders for everyone else to see in your organization let's go back to the inbox and there you go uh, we got connected to the exchange mailbox after discovering all settings automatically by using the auto discover feature available only on exchange 2007 server Thank you.